So you've been working with uh, Morgan Neville for a long time, yes. mostly on a lot of wonderful music documentaries. Mostly. This is your area of expertise. Yes. Elvis and other things. I met Morgan. Morgan came through Memphis working with a uh, friend of mine and a friend of his, the writer Peter Kuralnik. Plug for Peter's forthcoming uh, Sam Phillips book, I think, in about two weeks. But they were making the Sam Phillips biography for A&E, and uh, I joined them for dinner, and I was writing a book about Muddy Waters and saying, oh, I'm having trouble getting this Muddy Waters documentary made. And Morgan kind of tilted his head, and his eyebrows went up, and he said, Muddy Waters. <laughs> so, um, but this is a this is a different thing. Um, how did you come to pick this particular subject? We always talked about doing other kinds of things, and we're always on a lookout for what that might be. And a friend of mine in Memphis, where I live, uh, had a bootleg copy of the Raw Debates between Buckley and Vidal, and um, and I saw it and was immediately struck by how contemporary this 40-something, uh, at that point it was 2010. Mm. So I was immediately struck by how, how contemporary this 42-year-old discussion was. I did a little investigation with ABC, and I called Morgan and said, I think I found one. So how do you two work together? How do you split up the chores? Well, the simple answer is um, co-produce, co-direct, commiserate. Um, <laughs> And co-write, right? And co-write. Yeah. But really, that's the truth. Because, I mean... You're both juggling a lot of different things. We juggle a lot, a lot of different things. We, we, we found out on the Muddy Project that we share a similar aesthetic and a similar sense of humor, too. Uh, and we believe in, you know, the, the humor as a way to tell stories and um, tell truths. And so we had a trust that lets us take turns, you know, send the other one out. We don't both go to all interviews. Um, we're not both in the editing room at all times. And, uh, and it's that, and, and then there's that little bit of overlap. You know, if it's a Venn diagram, the overlap is what we don't agree on. And so that's the stuff you have to defend. Uh, and, sh and it makes you sharpen your thoughts.